Hey, and welcome back to episode 14 of United We Stand, Divided We Podcast. I am Robert from the U.S., and with us we have... Lionel from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, where it has been sticky and feeling hot, but not oh, summer hot yet. <laughs> we got a little of that stickiness here, too. Humidity has been kind of... On the rise, but that's typical Middle Tennessee weather, especially when well, it's yeah, been yeah, you're much further south and much closer to the <clears throat> the, the, the uh, Gulf of Mexico than we are. <laughs> but it, uh, yeah, I will say this: the weather pattern that we're feeling right now passed right by you first. Uh, yes. Like it's literally the same weather system. So you guys yeah. got lucky; it skirted past you. Uh, apparently, it, 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 it would probably would have been a lot worse if it had been down there instead of up here because. We know what that's like. Yeah. yeah. So far, no major storms uh, this last week or two. So I'm thankful for that. But yeah, it's been yeah. raining. Rain today. It's supposed to rain in a couple more days. Typical weather pattern for us right now. So yeah. yeah. Well, we'll let Robert get on with some stuff that we're going to talk about. Bef but just quickly, uh, as a uh, Canadian, I want to say go Oilers. Yes. As, a, <laughs> as an American, go Oilers. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> well, glad yeah, they beat not Dallas. Both well, yes. I guess, I guess, in, in, unless you're Floridian, there's a good chance you're you're rooting for the Oilers. Yeah, if you're Fl Floridian, you probably are not. Yeah. Right. So, and uh, <laughs> there's a predator, or used to be predator, Ekholm is on the Oilers. So I'd love to see him get a cup because he's oh, a fantastic that's right. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. He he deserve he deserves it too. And obviously, yeah. there's a few other players on there. Dreisaitl, uh, that you know, is one name <laughs> yes. to mention that I think. yes greatly deserves a cup uh yeah. i you know what i think dry saddle should do is just break his contract and go sign with the jets <laughs> worry about the legalities of it later yeah. all right yeah. let's move on all right we, we're, <laughs> yes. not, we're not talking about that today yeah because we'll go get on. started on that and never stop well just a couple right. things real quick so i this was interesting to me and I, I actually chuckled when i saw this because in typical microsoft fashion um <laughs> there's an article about the enormity of microsoft's windows phone shutdown mistake is becoming increasingly clear in the AI era. Of course, if you remember way back then, um, the iPhone started and Windows Phone was actually the very next major platform to come out. And they yeah, had the, yeah, tri yeah. The, the Trio series of phones. And they were actually pretty good. I used up to this Trio 750, I think. And it was oh, you did good. use them? You, oh, you yeah. did? Yeah. Oh, yeah. you know, I, I, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I at one point thought my next phone was definitely going to be a Windows phone. And then Google made an announcement. But we'll, we'll talk about that another time. <laughs> right. Yeah. So actually, actually, we'll be actually talking about it later today. <laughs> yeah, especially being in the, you know, the Microsoft ecosystem, they could they they missed a big opportunity, but they're talking about yeah, yeah, they did. um just the fact of, you know, where AI is now and how they could have really embedded their co-pilot and and they just missed the mark. They've missed the mark on mobile like when they stopped you know developing before Android became big. Um, they just, they blew it. I don't know who well, was in charge of that, but they just, listen, Android it. already was becoming big, but there were two things that made the windows phone far less appealing. One, there was a limited number of apps you were ever going to get to use on it in its current state at that time, because it was literally a miniature version of windows on your phone. And it was what would become windows eight, which made it even worse. It did, however, have a lot of advantages in, for the future and that it was the smoothest, my buttery smooth operating system I've ever seen. And they had garbage, not all garbage, some hard, most of their hardware was very good, but there were a couple of garbage phones that they had, at least towards the tail end anyways. Uh, and they ran it buttery smooth. And when I say buttery smooth, if you think your iPhone runs smoothly, no. There is still jank in an iPhone. Every single iPhone has had it, even the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Um, but it's not nearly as bad as what Android used to be or some smaller, lesser powerful Android phones might be today even. But Windows Phone never had that problem on any of their devices. Problem was they didn't do their development beyond yeah. the operating system itself. Yeah, and, like and I said, nobody I used wanted like it. Four or five versions of the trio, 
And it was a great yeah. moment. I loved it. Um, but I just found that to be interesting because there's things like that that always coming back and haunting Microsoft. In all reality, if yeah. they would have played their cards right, it would have been an Apple, Microsoft, Google trio of smartphone OSs out there. A tri a triopoly. <laughs> yeah, it would it could have been. Well, yeah, but, yeah. It, it could have been. And the difference yeah. is that is that Microsoft being Microsoft, it would have meant that much like Google you would have been able to do virtually anything with it. As a matter yeah. of fact, even more so than Google, because there's no way you can't not get into the stuff, right? Um, right. And, and just to put it into perspective, if anybody wonders, well, what kind of stuff do they make? If you're not aware of what Microsoft does, if you think the Surface sucks because you heard about that 10, 12 years ago, yeah, the Surface RT sucked. Yeah, the Surface 2 <laughs> sucked. Yeah, the Surface RT. Pro 3 was okay, but the Surface Pro 4 and onward and everything else they made, total professional stuff, literally yeah. worth the incredibly overpricing that they, that they throw at you on it. But yeah. they, they, they work very well. They're very good machines. They're very reliable. And honestly, their phones would have continued to be. But they weren't yeah. going to compete with Android because Android started out exactly as they needed to open source right it just so happens that google was smart enough to say this is aosp but we're gonna also give you android and you can do something with it if you want yeah. skin it if you so desire right yeah. and that was the biggest thing because they not only had an open source software but they also had uh, a, a sort of open source, fully operational operating system that anyone could skin and put on another device and use Google Apps as long as they registered it and did it the way Google said they wanted it done. That's it. Yeah. That's why Microsoft yeah. wasn't going to compete with that. No yeah, way. but uh, big, big missed opportunity. And I, again, I just chuckled yeah. when I saw that. I was like, wow, that's funny because, yeah, when you look at where phones are now, and computers and how tightly integrated just like you know you plug your phone in now you can use your webcam and windows talks to android android talks to, i mean just a huge missed opportunity so oh i, I, just, I totally agree there i just yeah. kind of chuckled the other thing that i found um interesting i don't use chat gpt but i thought this was uh, kind of cool and i know you do so i'm probably going to ask you to chime in <laughs> here and give your input on this but chat bit. gpt for O, not zero, is now <laughs> That's capable. That's my thing. <laughs> is now capable Four, of being able to chat with you when you're using other applications, like it's running in the background. So yeah. I guess it's I guess it's somehow when you oh, use the app, the app goes to the background and it's still listening. So I'm not really sure. You right. said it did that, but I want you to. Well, let, let me let me let me kind of explain that. Way. I may be wrong about that because they didn't explain this very well in here, and and it yeah. just doesn't seem to be explained very well. But I mean, it's typical Microsoft. Yeah. At least yeah. they say something though. Google just keeps their mouths shut. Uh, <laughs> it's a, I'm I'm on it today. You're gonna find out later. Anyways, uh, no. Um, prior to this. I could talk and then keep in mind, this is the voice thing we're talking about, right? Not, not just typing. Right. So Correct. when you go in, into the, into the, into the chat GPT with the voice thing, uh, the way it worked before is if I went off the app, not, not like I, I just swipe it, you know, swipe off and to go somewhere else, not to swipe it and close it out of memory. Uh, there would be a little, uh, indicator. Uh, I'll actually, uh, hang on one second here up in the top somewhere over here uh, that would let you know that it's actually still there and listening to you. However, what I did not do in testing at that time was see that if it would actually continue if you open another app that required audio or visual uh, anything. Uh, mm -hmm. So I, I assume that this update actually means that it correctly works in the background and doesn't just sit in, in a waiting state because there, there is a difference. Uh, right. Apps can yeah. sit in a, in, at least on Android. I don't know if they do that on on <laughs> on Apple or not, but on Android apps, all apps well, have the ability, but that doesn't mean that they will 
have the ability to sit in a waiting state. And if they're an active app, they will actually give you notification of that. But generally, another app that needs to use your video or microphone will either say another app is using it or the other app will just bail out. Right. So you actually have to have it written in code. And I think they started, made it this possible to use multiple apps and still have your microphone or what or, or, or whatever active uh somewhere around 11 or 12 right i can't remember but uh um, yeah but I, you still have mean. again it's still i think a lot up to the developer because uh, even though oh, it's entirely up to the developer to you, know, activate you can that, swipe that, up that and feature. you can go to another app you're not actually closing it some apps won't run in the background so yeah right yeah well so interesting though so I, anyways I just, it is an interesting feature though is it um have you did you notice when you used it in your particular iteration of it did it use a lot of memory did it cause any like memory issues sorry uh yeah, forgive me but something just popped up and blocked my, my computer screen for a second okay uh sorry your question again <laughs> <That's> <laughs> when bad. you use it timing. on your phone in its iteration prior to this update did it have any kind of high memory usage like it was causing the phone to like no but i mean okay. come on if you have a high even a mid-range phone that's not really going to be a i mean it's all it really is is like any other assistant i mean people have been using assistants before and the difference is this one of course is fully connected to the internet because it has to use the, the llm and this is a free version it's not putting anything on your phone it also doesn't remember squat uh if you run out of tokens and i did relatively quickly I just have to close it and open it again. It doesn't remember anything I said, but as long as I remember where I was, I can continue to ask questions from there. So it, Speaking it's Speaking of which, I meant to tell you that um, after this last update, and they talked about all the added tokens. I'm now able to um, copy. You know how I told you I take my audio, turn it into a transcript, take that transcript, then convert it into uh, like a blog post. I have, you know, the Gemini format it into blog post format. Well, I can now right. paste three times the amount of data that I used to, or if it's still too much, I can take it, put it into a text file, take the text file, upload the text file, tell it to analyze the text file, and then it will give me the content, which is really cool. And it's actually pretty right. fast. It works great. Well, that, yeah, that's good. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't have as much uh, usage in that area right now in what I'm doing, but at the same time, I do like I do like that uh, that those abilities are are, are there, and yeah. and I would like to actually play a little bit more with this uh, Chat GPT four O voice thing a little bit more. But I it, it's it's limited, and it always will be on an Android phone to some extent. Um, you know, so I'm I'm waiting for 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 Google to make Gemini. Um, a little bit more robust and have it more built in a uh, system, you know, uh, yeah. I, I, extensions aren't really going to cut the mustard. I, I want to be able to tell it, Hey, you know what? Uh, I'm on my, on my way home. I expect to be home around six o'clock. Um, turn on the lights in this room, that room and make sure my TV's on. Cause I don't want to miss the beginning of my show. And you know, you could literally say that, and because it is an LLM, it will figure it will know what you mean. But the problem is, is it can't actually initiate any of those things at this point in time. Just think individually, individually, it could, you know, but 20 years from just, now, we're gonna say, Hey, Jim and I, I'm on my way home. Please tell robot to cook me dinner. I <laughs> said, Maybe, maybe sooner. Maybe but, sooner. You know, as Will what, Smith. What was the robot in the Jetsons? As Will Smith said. <laughs> was it Rosie? What? The Who? Jetsons. Oh, the Jetsons. Robot. That was Rosie. Yeah, that was Rosie. Rosie, Rosie yeah. Tell Rosie to cook me some dinner. Rosie was a very life. large robot. I don't think I'd want her in my kitchen. <laughs> yeah, you know, Taking up a way too much room uh, and weighs about 700 pounds. It's just no. Uh, uh, yeah. No. <laughs> That's got to be better ones than that. I, I like to have one of the ones from from the iRobot movie with Will Smith. 
Yeah. 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 Definitely. Yeah. Definitely a different form factor, but I'd still name her Rosie because I'm classic. kidding. I wouldn't want one of those ones. That's for obvious reasons. Well, <laughs> if it doesn't turn on you and want to kill you, it's fine. Well, well <laughs> hey, hey, listen, according to Will Smith, <laughs> they will turn on you. And it, actually, yeah, according to every yeah. movie ever made, they will turn on you. Yeah. And and we've already passed the date. All become sentient, huh? And, and According to Terminator, into... we've already gone past the date, so we don't know what's happening right now. Yeah, see, <laughs> Skynet. <laughs> yeah, let's get off of the Skynet <laughs> stuff and let's let's move on. Uh, you know what? Let's bring up the Samsung thing. Who? Yeah, there's actually people on the internet making uh, videos about how they're upset that Samsung is shafting its customers. Because uh, I mean, like you know, you buy this piece of equipment, and and now you're just going to be forgotten about. It's like when's the last time Samsung actually made and sold a watch with Tizen on it? I have to ask you that question. I I don't remember. It, it's I thought they switched back when they did the first like original oh, Galaxy no. watch, wasn't it? Uh, I think the. Well, the original Galaxy, because weren't they called Galaxies before the? No, they wouldn't have been. That makes no sense. You know I what? I, I can't believe I'm going to do this. Let, let, let's ask Jim and I. <laughs> when did Samsung switch from Tizen to Wear OS? I can't turn the volume up. It won't let me. <laughs> it says Samsung switched from its Tizen operating system to Wear OS with the release of the Galaxy Watch 4 and mm. Galaxy Watch Active 4 in August of 2021. So we are talking about three years ago. So, I mean, this is a watch that wouldn't have been supported past this year anyways. That's an absolute right. fact. They don't support watches beyond three years. Who does except Apple? Yeah. And even then, they're only maybe four years anyways, right? For Apple watches because they changed the, uh, the OS yeah, on it. I um, don't know. I know that they there's they get to a point where it's like you know this app this app watch is too old. You can't update it anymore, kind of thing. I, I don't know how long it is because I since my wife doesn't use Apple anymore, I'm not even part of that ecosystem. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> but so what are they going to do about their TVs though? I didn't read the whole article. Are they are they going are they switching their TVs? Or are they still maintaining? I thought they phones? already. I thought they already did. No, I thought they, I thought they were I thought they were using a, a different version of, of Web OS or something like that, but they're not. I don't no, know. Both, I didn't. Both both of these Samsungs I have here, they're, they're brand so, new. So that means Tizen. mine is Tizen. So that's why I hate it so much. I'm sorry. I, I've just I've never been a Tizen fan for any reason on a watch. That's the honestly the only reason why I refused to buy a Samsung watch years ago. I always looked at them and said these ones look better. They they they're built better. They probably are better. But I can't use Tizen. I can't do it. And even with the Samsung TV, I don't technically use it. I'm using my NVIDIA Shield. So I'm right. not actually using it, right? Um, yeah, I don't use it either. Don't I get mean, me wrong. It's, it's I, there, I do right, like you know, that but... they have all that free TV, but they could throw that into in, into into Google TV just as easily. Oh, yeah. And quite sure. frankly, please, for the love of God, Samsung, make Google TV TVs. Right. <laughs> yeah. And you don't even have to worry about overskinning it. And and it, honestly, it would cost you less money. So like people go, well, I can get a Google TV for any world. Samsung does make better TVs. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I honestly, their mid-range TVs are as good as a lot of other companies' lower high-end TVs. Uh, and like I have, I have one of Samsung's high mid-range TVs, which are actually very inexpensive. But they look as good in the picture as most lower high-end TVs. And, and yeah. keep in mind, I'm not trying to compare this to, you know, LG OLEDs, you know, or something like that, right? I'm just talking right. about the fact that they give you more for less money, technically. And if you want to spend a little bit more, you can get a much better TV. And they're still probably the least expensive of the better TVs if you go to the higher end. Because even in Canada, I could be by the top in Samsung right now. Uh, I'll say I'll use 55 inches as an example because bedroom TV in this case. Um, their top end one is, I think, around $1,700 or something like that. Yeah. Maybe eight, something like that. I mean, but I, I'd say, what is it? What is it in America? About 
1400 well i mean they have i may be i may be i may be off because they 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 also put out some new ones recently too yeah because the oled i mean you can get into like some of the oleds like i'm not talking about their oleds i'm I'm talking about their 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 qleds okay yeah i don't i don't i don't know what the top end is right now like, well, you know. I thought you owned the top end. You bought it last year, didn't you, or the year before? Uh, well, it's it 2020, and I spent oh, a few years on ago. That, yeah, on that TV. I mean, ironically, that TV is two thousand dollars. Yeah, but see, that, what I'm saying is that and now the I bought line this OLED down. for less than yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, but 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 that yeah, but what I'm saying is is that those though that line has come down. The the actual yeah. cost of the TVs, and it's weird because everything else is going up. But TV technology always comes down in price over time. But the difference here is that there is new technology coming out where the newer ones are the same price as the you know two-year-old ones mm-hmm. used to be instead of being more expensive, which basically means the price of all TVs is still coming down. So if you buy a TV that's two years old, it's now relevant. Unlike 10 years ago, if you bought a two-year-old TV, it was yesterday's news already. It's suddenly you go, well, you got a TV that only does 1080i? What the heck is that? <laughs> you know? But it's not the case anymore. <laughs> they all basically do the same thing. It's just you might have m- more dimming zone on the newer ones or something like that. They work a little bit better. But it's more for most people, with the exception of gamers, you're probably not going to notice a difference between two years ago and this year's. Most likely you won't notice. And as for picture quality, yeah. you won't see it. You won't really. So it, 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 I, that's why I say, you know, it's like price is coming down. It makes it a lot better. More people can buy the better TVs now. And yeah. the only thing, as I say, is it, it makes me think of, don't you miss the days when you could walk into uh, Best Buy and see that beautiful wall of CRTs? (laughs) No? Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, I had one that weighed like 900 pounds. But that wall of CRTs, it was always on one side and then it cornered. Yeah. (laughs) Every best spot, it was the same like that. (laughs) And then, and then, because it was, and I remember, I remember when it started to change. I went in one time, and the and the TVs that were in the middle racks next to it didn't have smaller TVs like they used to. The wall was still CRT CRTs. I was going to say CRTC, <laughs> Canadian Canadian Radio and Television. Yeah, no. <laughs> Anyways, uh, they had CRTs. Uh, they uh, and but they had they had LCDs or were they even LCDs? No, they would have been. <laughs> and there would have been some other, a couple of plasmas, yeah, and maybe some uh, overly priced, very small LCDs as well. Uh, uh, on a couple of short aisles that were next to the big wall. And those ones, uh, I think, was it six months after that, half the TV wall was gone. And a few months after that, the entire wall was all uh, plasmas and LCDs. Man, you want to talk about a flop. Plasma was a huge flop, man. And those things, it was never going to make it. It was never going to make it. Now I don't I don't I don't blame any of the manufacturers for saying he, these these pro, giant projection TVs yeah cuz those were a thing for about 10 12 years maybe yeah, more they were. Mm-hmm. right yep. uh, there were only rich people could buy them or if you saved a lot of money or you bought it used from somebody who just didn't want this monstrosity in their house anymore and the weirdest <laughs> thing is the biggest one you could get would be equivalent to about a 55 or 60 inch TV now. And yeah. yet people went, it's massive. And it was, yeah. but not the screen. <laughs> and they were terrible. You couldn't watch them in the daytime, even in cloudy weather. You had to black out your living room <laughs> to <Yeah>. watch them. <laughs> and if you moved two inches to the right or the left, <laughs> it's terrible. It's terrible. But plasmas, yeah, plasmas, honestly. They weren't as good a picture as, as some of these guys on YouTube are claiming. Oh, they had a great picture. They weren't that good. But the yeah. one thing it was is is much like OLEDs, you you saw zero latency. So yeah, if we, you we used a to have an old plasma, up to one even today. Was, yeah, yeah. If you hooked up a gaming machine to one today, you would have zero latency. Zero. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. They, they also got hot you couldn't use them for more than two or three years max before you'd have to pay half the price of the tv for a new bulb 
Oh, right. Yeah. Specialized tubes or whatever, you know, it, they were horrible. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and, 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 and ridiculously expensive. Yeah. So moving on. So I, I, it makes me wonder <laughs> if, if eventually they're going to sunset their ties in for their TVs, but I guess we'll see. <laughs> I, 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 uh, I really do hope they do. Uh, and if they, if they don't, I don't know, rewrite it. Rewrite it and make it like fully compatible with something else, you know. Uh, yeah. Do something with it because it just. Doesn't I mean, it's sense. not bad on these new TVs, but uh, it's it's definitely lacking in some areas. But yeah, yeah. It, well, it the pro the thing is, it's not all that. It's not slow and cumbersome like it used to be because even the, like I said, even these mid range TVs are fast enough in their processor to handle it. Because you right. know they have to be able to do all this 4K stuff and expect you to play games on them and stuff, so they have to work well enough for that. Yeah. But but it's still it's not a pretty system. You're stuck with going to the Samsung store to get apps that may or may not work. And I say that because I've actually put an app on that I wanted to use for the first time in months, and I'm like, it doesn't work. So I had yeah. to give up. And Glenn yeah. upstairs has issues uh, using Apple Music to so he doesn't have to hook his phone up uh, wirelessly because mm. he, he wants to leave the room, or, you know, or he wants to be able to take phone calls without cutting the music out, you know. So he, I said, well, just use the use the TV, you know, and yeah. and, and, My and, and he puts it on, but a, it cuts out all the time. Cuts out, yeah, like literally. My the app has a Samsung. Right. He uses the apps on the phone on the TV. And what I noticed, like when we're over their house, is there's a lot of buffering. So it's like it can't handle the data that's coming in. And of course, his TV's a little older, but still, it's not that old. Yeah. And it's just not as, yeah, it's not as good. But, yeah, you know. Well, anywho, <laughs> where were we at? Uh, so uh, I think our next thing we were going to talk about is um, since we're on AI, is that oh, dude from yeah, Winnipeg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, were we? Oh, yeah. Okay, sorry. I had the wrong thing open. That's embarrassing. See, this is what happens when you're not live. That's right. We're recording this. Okay, but we do it live to recording, right? <laughs> There's no editing here. There's no editing here. <laughs> sorry. All right. Got to act like an idiot once in a while, you know. Oh, speaking of which, there's a like button down there. And a subscribe button. Whoops, sorry, right next to it. Please use it. Like and subscribe. <laughs> yes, <there he's laughs> exactly. Right. You know what we're talking about. You get to that. Uh, okay, all right. I'm skipping over this one because I uh, we didn't talk about that. I, right. It could be my order is wrong. So if, if it's no, me, no, it, do, it doesn't matter. We may have already brought yeah. the other one up, and I just don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> all right go on go on sorry to interrupt <laughs> no i sent it to you you this is a, a guy that um is a news article about a man in winnipeg and the only thing that drawn my attention because it was a canadian guy and um that he fell for a scam and lost hundreds of dollars for something he thought was facebook customer support hotline Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I see this. Yeah, yeah. I remember reading it. I totally forgot it because we had to a lot of things we we're going to talk about. But yeah, no, that is um, that's scary yeah. because, I mean, if you're going to use AI and it, it, you know what, it kind of brings along one thing we we're talking about a few podcasts ago um, where I was mentioning that uh, when I use Gemini specifically, I use this, I do this for every all, any AI I use, but specifically with Gemini, I notice that sometimes I'll ask it a question. And I'm not quite satisfied with the answer, or maybe mm. I just want, because here's the thing I've been, I told, I tell those people, because people always say, Wikipedia, you don't want to go to Wikipedia for your information. Why not? It's the best place to start. Why? Because if you scroll down to the bottom, you can see where everything was cited and then you can double check that. And then you can Google the information again and find out where you can cite the information. That's how you do proper research to start if you're going to use that. Otherwise, go to the library and make phone calls the old fashioned way. But if you're going to do it at home or on your phone, on the bus or wherever you are, that's what you yeah. do. So the same thing should apply when you use AI. AI is artificial intelligence. And the fact that it's artificial 
in its very definition means it can't possibly be perfect. And even well, he one asked, day, I say he sorry, asked Messenger if the number was legitimate. Facebook Messenger, their oh AI, yeah 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 Meta. And it said and it said oh yeah this is a this is a number for you know Meta AI you know or Meta yeah. you know support and, yeah yeah let's 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 be clear about one thing though <laughs> regardless of which AI you're using you should you should uh, fact check whatever Always. you get if it's important so in this guy's particular case well, what was it again he lost it for what reason here sorry I'm getting away from the mic. so so and here's here's here you can answer this question. He was a former Manitoba NDP member of the legislature. What is an NDP member? What does that mean? Oh, New Democratic Party. It's a political okay. party. Okay. In this particular case, it's the Manitoba New Democratic Party. So he was a politician, bought a phone, was transferring his data, ran into a problem with his Facebook app, searched for a Facebook number, asked Facebook Messenger if it was legitimate, Messenger said yes. He called it and lost several hundred dollars because it was a it was a scam. So, yeah, <laughs> that's that's what, and it just goes to show you again. It's a tool, yeah. people. It is it, a it tool. Is, it is not a replacement exactly. for life and logic. Okay, it is a tool yeah. for you to simplify, maybe make things a little easier, maybe expedite something. Yeah, but always absolutely. Take it and you know what? Salt. Here's a great here's a here's a great <laughs> analogy. Then since you're going to say it, that was it's a tool, and you're right. So here's the thing: you've got your tool. Let's say you need to use a wrench on something. Your first instinct is, I got to get this off of here as fast as possible so I can move on with what I got to do. So you take that wrench and you just start going like this, right? Unfortunately, it doesn't quite get the job done properly because you're not using it right. If you take your time and you do it properly, you'll actually get done faster and properly. If you're using AI, fact check your stuff if you really need to. If it's important, especially anything to do with business, banking, money, ID, your your address, yeah. your even your email address, for crying out loud. Then, like I said, when I use Gemini, I might ask it a question. And it answers the question. Now, if it's very obvious, like, oh, what time is the sunset today? And it says, oh, at 8.23 or something. Then, well, okay, good enough. I don't need to ask it to fact check that because maybe right. it's a minute off. Who cares, right? right. <laughs> but if I ask it exactly what the interest rates are because I'm thinking about getting a new mortgage and I want to know the phone number for this or that bank, to find out what they can do for me, it will give me that information. But I, if I don't fact check that and find other information, you know what's going to happen? I'm going to be stupid and phone the first one. And if I'm using Meta instead of Gemini, apparently it's going to use the first one it found, which is going to happen to be someplace in, well, another country. <laughs> yeah, I, you know? yeah, it's, yeah, you just have to use logic and, you know. Precisely. Just be careful, people. Just yeah, yeah. you know, fact check again. your stuff. And by the way, you can tell your 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 AI to fact check itself. And generally speaking, it will usually come back with, "Oh, I'm sorry for the confusion. You were right." And, yeah, and it, it, because it doesn't it doesn't have feelings. It doesn't it doesn't feel like you're sliding it. It's just going to be like, okay, you know, it's a robot basically on the back. Yeah, has has that happened to you? By the <laughs> way, have you done that before yet? That fact checked your own question. Um, I don't usually ask it the questions like you do, so I've not really used it in that manner. Again, my main use is like I was saying, I, I take already my own content kind of stuff and say, hey, help me create a, you know, format this into this. So it doesn't uh, have to okay, think okay. about like creating something or going and checking something. It's just taking this and rearranging it to make it look like this. I right, still okay. have to go yeah. through, though. Because sometimes yeah. it does weird things with the um, um, paragraphs or the spelling. Or uh, now, if so I, I might, if I it. might, here's where you could actually, if you when you check it, instead of fixing it, actually tell it, I have found some errors. Please go over it again and make sure that you correct any errors because this is not how I asked it to be formatted. Yeah, and, yeah, I'll try. And that. generally speaking, we'll it, it, those kinds of things will work, and that's why I love it. All right, so 
we <laughs> yeah you know the funny thing is, is we usually get on about one thing for so long but there's so many things that, that we wanted to actually get to so we figured we'll go through some but I, I obviously at some point we're, we're going to end up babbling about about the one subject and i will say this if you're watching this <laughs> and you want to know more about it for the love of pete or even pete's dragon if that's the way you want to go leave a comment and 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 tell us you know like we we want to we want to hear some stuff and everything you know like we want we'll to have talk jim about and this. i get back to you <laughs> no I'm just kidding <laughs> yeah meta we'll have meta get back no I'm just yeah kidding. yeah yeah but uh yeah you know what and and you know here's the other thing we should we should we should actually i'm going to say this right on the middle of the broadcast if there's anybody watching and they actually have something that they want to talk about sports something about canada something about the united states something about a specific state not something that gets people upset but something something you didn't want to talk about but it's specifically sports or 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 technology stuff then you know leave a comment maybe maybe we can figure out how to talk about it maybe we can even get a guest on our show if you want to have your two minutes of <laughs> 15 minutes yeah, yeah absolutely you know? it's possible so anyways let's 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 get on to um what we want to talk about uh beyond that uh which one do we uh were we going to hear uh oh wait a minute <laughs> since i am so upset about this this is what is this one uh oh well no that's not what i was i i read the wrong one i apologize um i'm not sure i think we have to skip a couple of these ones that i've got on my list because we have well, you were talking about um and i didn't read the article you sent me about google assistant continues to crumble in the gemini area era i don't in know the, in the gemini area and yeah, i'm not i could be you know what? i believe that to be true but yeah. i'm not so sure that gemini is actually a hundred percent at fault because it's not really helping it along right now uh there are some more updates that we expect gemini to have and some more extensions but i think beyond extensions they really need to actually move in there and say we need to put some of these functionalities directly into gemini yeah uh to as a base for them to work sorry i'm looking over because a cat decided to come in <laughs> hey kitty cat how's it going <laughs> <laughs> you know, she's coming right over here yeah you know what that's what youtube does hang on a second you want to get good views yeah kitty cat come and say hi hello better come closer so i can snag you up without you freaking out oh no she's not close enough no there you go yes kitty cat yes oh uh, kitty cat oh yeah. <laughs> oh that was perfect i i i thought she was gonna meow no, no she's not happy. <laughs> she Put me down. She looked now. right at. She looked right at the microphone. <laughs> yeah. Put me down immediately. I can't believe the timing that worked out. Okay. That's. <laughs> uh, where were we? <laughs> well, nice. here's you know if you don't want to talk about the the as Google Assistant thing, I didn't read the article, so I don't really have. It's, there's not that. much to it. It's basically we don't have we don't you know it, and they need to improve on it. So let's yeah let's go on with it. But here's something <laughs> that I am curious about because again I already had the functionality, but you didn't. But you found out about the trackers for the mm, yes 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 um, find my device. How buying a tracker would kick off the right 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 installation and or and or activation of that service even though it might not be showing available to you which i found interesting because it's like does that mean it's there they just didn't want to give it to you until you went and bought something <laughs> i mean i don't i guess that's you know <laughs> yeah i i well you know the weirdest thing is is, is well I, I mean almost everybody should have it by now because i've now got it activated on both of my phones uh, the only thing is, is that it doesn't do jack squat with the phones, which is weird. I mean, it just, it still says it might be a little bit more pinpointy to a point, right? I think it can be certainly if you lose it and you're not in your own house testing it. But the thing about the trackers is that you can actually legit find the tracker within a few feet or less. Like I've seen videos of people actually getting, I mean, cause it, it, it should work virtually the same way as as the uh apple ones whatever they're called um yeah. <laughs> i forgot <laughs> my trackers are out here somewhere at least i thought it was uh what it's kind of tracker? bag 
My little Samsung. Oh, yeah. That, by the way, also needs to be a new one uh, to work with the new system. Um, yeah. Because apparently it's a hardware thing. It's not a software thing. So they can't just yeah. update. Uh, which is fine. I get that. Uh, because they never had a network before. So they obviously have to use different hardware. Yeah, I'm sure uh, transmitters are different. Stuff like that. Oh yeah, they have to be. Yeah, yeah, because they work. They, they they're definitely going to work differently. The interesting thing, though, is that Samsung will obviously probably, well, maybe not right away, but they might make some that work with, uh, with the uh, with the Android system as well as their own, which would be interesting if they did, because it would give you you know two opportunities. Well, it's not finding it with this one. I'll switch networks. I don't know if yeah. they ever will, but maybe if they make a bigger, more expensive one that you can put on your luggage, for instance, or on a tablet or laptop, but not necessarily your wallet or your phone. But right. uh, when 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 they when they're available in stores, I plan to get one. Uh, uh, I don't know exactly. I mean, I'm not going to use it for my phone because I can track my phone. Anyways. Right. <laughs> but uh, you know, I mean, if I'm ever traveling anywhere, I want to make sure that somebody takes something. You know, so I'll put it in you know laptop bag. Maybe maybe glue one to my laptop itself. <laughs> you know, <laughs> stuff like that. Right. Right. Uh, and that just make it a lot easier. Um, because you can always use all this other Find My stuff uh, with a lot of things. Like if I had an Android tablet, I could still use Find My. But if I actually put the tracker on it, I would find it easier. <laughs> Unless it was a newer tablet that was on the network, obviously. Right. But, um, yeah, so apparently, uh, according to, uh, wait a minute, I can't remember who wrote the article. Because he, he cites Ben Shun, who was the first one that D, uh, from nine to five google that is that detailed on the process of uh you know when you get a new tracker uh, how to add it and, and all that um so he does mention uh who is it again let me let me get this name right here i got my glasses on, i still can't see damien wild uh, he wrote this actually may 29th uh or at least published it may 29th i don't know when he wrote it um and he does say that his colleague, Ben Shun, has recently detailed the process of adding a supported tracker to the account. Uh, the guide is great if you have the Find My Device network activator and account, so on and so on. Uh, but he says even so, he decided to, uh, that maybe I'll try and set up the Chipolo that he brought. I still want to say Chipotle, but it is what it is. Uh, <laughs> newest trackers before heading for the long weekend uh, without the device network activated. He expected to be left high and dry. I'm skipping over here because I don't want to just pair up, you know. Uh, but he says the initial setup phase allowed me to connect to the enhanced network and integrate the first wave trackers almost instantly. In other words, it was set up already. So when he put it into the Find My device in the phone, it instantaneously tripped the network to say, okay, we're going to have to put this on now then. And it makes sense. And honestly, I, I it would be stupid of Google not to have done it that way. Uh, I I think uh, it doesn't hurt them in, in any way, shape, or form. They probably didn't tell anybody because then there right. would have been an excess wave of people trying to order them. And the, I mean, these companies ran out almost instantly from their pre-orders because uh, everybody wants to get one. People have been wanting good trackers that could compete with what Apple does for years. Yeah, uh, and me myself included, I've never bought a tracker because every time I ever even thought about it, uh, I was either told by somebody else, "Don't do it," <laughs> or uh, get a Samsung and then get theirs. And I'm like, "Well, I'm not doing either one of those then." So, <laughs> right. And it's not because I don't like Samsung, but that's another story. I, I'm not going to tell you that I had a nice experience checking out a Samsung device. <laughs> That would I would uh, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> You're not going to say it. I, I love my pixels, and we'll leave it at that. <laughs> to some extent. <laughs> All right, find my device. Uh, you know what? Let's actually, because how much time we don't have a lot of time. So you know, since we like to ramble, let's ramble on about something we really like. <laughs> let's see how many Americans and Canadians we can hear. <laughs> Should higher taxed NHL teams like the Maple Leafs get an NHL salary cap exception? Now, before anyone gets up in arms and says, what are you, crazy? 
everybody has to pay their share. You're right. Unfortunately, some teams aren't. And teams like Florida, as well as Florida, and I hate to say it, even though this might be not a great example right now, but the Nashville Predators. They're also on the list of teams that... Uh, I'm not sure how it works in the States, so maybe you might want to give this a peruse and, and, and talk to, about what this actually means and why. Um, because I'm not as familiar with tax systems in the States because they are talking mainly about U.S. states. I, right how, is the, how is the Predators higher tax, though? Tennessee as a state doesn't even have like state income tax. So like No, that's it, that's that's the point. Sorry, that's the point. They don't. Therefore, uh here's the way this is working out. Um oh, when so they they're have saying, the salary, cap, okay. the salary cap actually includes everything. Right? Um so not everything. See, let me let me rephrase that. The salary cap is the oh god, I have to read it now. <laughs> I literally forgot how it worded it. Uh, basically, the bottom line is Toronto gets gypped because as much as they do spend, uh, they still have to pay the taxes, uh, but they don't have that money to spend, right? So they include the, the taxes in it. So if you're not paying taxes, that means you have more money to put in your salary cap. In okay. other words, I was reading that backwards. Okay. Yeah, I know. I did too, about three times before I went over it again. And I was like, oh, now I get it. Uh, so basically the bottom line is, 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 uh, and, and for Nashville, it hasn't exactly worked out in their favor. Uh, but Florida, uh, Thanks. also is a much larger market period. And I say that as a state, because they have a lot, a lot of people and two major hockey teams that have dominated going to the Stanley cup over the last five or six seasons now. Yeah, it's five or six. I I, I don't remember yeah, the first time. Exactly. The, the, the Lightning was the first one, I think, to go. And then the Panthers did a couple of times. And, of course, and then the Lightning did a couple back. of times. And, and then the yeah. Panthers again now. So basically the last time uh, a, a non-Florida team went to the Stanley Cup from the Eastern Conference was uh, when Fred Flintstone was playing for the Edmonton Oilers. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, that's a good. That's a good question. And his line that, mate, that's interesting. Was Og, you know, <laughs> played with yeah. a club, and he took the club home to make sure his wife had dinner ready. So they're they're saying these jokes higher are right. tax, they're saying these higher tax good. teams like Toronto should get an yeah. exception to be able to be equal to a team like Nashville that has no state tax to pay and their taxes are lower. Yeah. They're which basically theoretically it, gives them more money. And I, you know what I yeah. have to say to that is no, because no, 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 wait, 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 wait. What they're saying is hang on the exception. That's the wrong word to use in reality. What they're actually saying is that it should be based on the net. Uh, of what, of what, uh, of what is uh, paid out. Um, not not the gross right so because if it's the net then everyone has the same thing so uh that means uh nashville has um you know exactly 185 well obviously more than that like one guy probably makes that much money nowadays but a hypothetical situation because i don't even know how much let's say they got 400 million to spend right they uh nashville has 400 million dollars exactly that they can spend on those contracts toronto does not because their contracts state that they have to get this amount of money after taxes so right. it, it they, they're it, it, that's why so their salary cap goes above it before the taxes are paid and this includes the money that the team has to pay for taxes to cover so it's even double that amount so we're not talking about a few hundred dollars difference or a few thousand or a few million even we're talking if if you have a 400 million dollar cap and obviously everybody would uh, uh then then nashville gets to spend 400 million where toronto would only get to spend about 320 million that's 80 million dollar difference just on that and that that's not right uh, but unfortunately, that's the way they wrote it up. But they wrote it up for a different era. That's the problem, right? So, 
Interesting. No, you were saying you don't think. So do, do you still not think? Well, I, you know, I, I'm, I guess what I'm curious to know too is how does like the, well, how does like NFL do it? I know obviously there's no NFL in Canada, right? No, but, but they still have there to is play NFL in, in, in other states, states that have state tax, state. like California. Yes. California is a very high tax state. I wonder right. how they do their contracts. Like well. Ontario. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have no idea. Uh, that might be something to discuss in the future. Uh, although I don't know as much about NFL, but I will say this. I'd like to find out more about NFL, and you should find out more about CFL. Stay tuned in the summer for that one. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, that's um, interesting. That's an interesting concept. I, I It's, um, yeah. I see what they're saying. I mean, Well, let me know, put I it this to... way. All teams would basically be... Sp- have have this be allowed to spend the same amount of money and they'd have the same advantages and disadvantages exactly across the board meaning you couldn't have florida uh teams stacking all of their stuff and now the interesting thing is you see new york is now doing the same thing even though they do have state tax but they're just like going well we have to try at least uh but it can only get them so far right they didn't make it even though they probably were, but you know what? A lot of people to predict in Florida, but that's another story altogether. Um, See, but I don't think I don't. I mean, I could be wrong because obviously I'm not a you know a general manager of a hockey team. But I just I don't see how it's that big of a um, well impact because you know the, the National Predators are saying has more money to spend. But hang on, you know, there's a list in the article. Oh, I see to, the list. To, yeah. So I mean, um, Florida. Well, yeah, Florida Panthers 2024, 2023, both the Florida Panthers, as we mentioned, and the Golden Knights. Uh, you'd think, by the way, that a state that makes all its money on gambling would actually tax people. Anyway, <laughs> anyways, so 2019, said that, 2020 and current has featured a, a Florida team. 2019 was St. Louis and Boston. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So 2023, 2022. So it hasn't been quite but, as long but, as we thought, but yeah, still a lot of years. Yeah. Well, yeah, but, you know, it's like uh, that's when one, two, three, four, five, five straight years. Yeah. Uh, which is what I said. I said five or six. I didn't say it turned to be five. So anyways, yeah. uh, 2022 Colorado Avalanche did defeat Tampa Bay Lightning. But again, Tampa went to the Stanley Cup, meaning they had a chance and a better chance than most. Right. Uh, obviously, they went uh, in 2021, defeating Montreal, who does pay a very high tax, by the way. Uh, Tampa Bay Lightning defeated Dallas Stars. Neither one of them has state tax. Uh, 2019 was the first time, as you mentioned, with the Blues and Boston Bruins, and we all know how much I love 2019 and how much we all love that the Blues came from behind from not even in a playoff position to winning the Stanley Cup. But that didn't hurt at all. Anyways, <laughs> uh, 2019, both teams didn't. Yeah, like they, I mean, they're both from you know taxable states, right? Uh, however, the previous two years, again, Washington Capitals did defeat Vegas Golden Knights, but again, Vegas made it. Um, and we know that they have money to spend for more reasons than just the tax situation. Um, 2017, Pittsburgh Pendant Penguins. Oh, I don't even want to tell you this because it might make you cry. <laughs> Defeating the Nashville Predators. Again, the oh, Nashville I, I Predators, that, no yes. state tax. We, right? we, we got ripped off. but this is Now, here's the interesting thing. As far as I know, Alberta doesn't have a state tax either. But I think they do tax income tax in the states. They just don't charge sales tax in Alberta. Um, mm. So that's probably why they don't mention Alberta. Um, that said, uh, that's why. So it, it does show that, and, and it, I think it goes back further than that too, because if you remember a Canadian team hasn't had a shot at winning realistically, <laughs> realistically until maybe this year. And even then it's going to be tough for Edmonton to do it against Florida. It's going to be a tough series. I'm looking forward to watching it. Yeah, but it's going to be very, it's more be importantly, I think then this is a need to deal with this whole over the cap in the playoff BS. I think they need to deal with it together. 
I think they well, need to be so, dealt together but... because this is all going to keep in mind. This is all going to be part of what's going to have to go into the next collective bargaining agreement. It's going to have to be dealt with together. And uh, 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 are we not up for one soon or did they just do it recently? I don't remember. The um, new CBA. Wasn't it right around COVID? Maybe a little like 2020, I think one. When is the next CBA due in the NHL? Hey, sorry, dead air. It takes it takes a couple of seconds. Uh, it says it's not due yet. That's not what I asked it. I asked it. When... <laughs> yeah, it does say. It does say. Though. However, it, it, they uh, they have already extended the CBA for the twenty five twenty six NHL uh, season. But the extension covers only that season is not extended to future seasons. So it's already going into an ex not going into extension. It will be going into extension, which means yeah. if After they that. don't go to the table, we could be in trouble. So hopefully they decided to take the extension as a reason to go to the table during the extent or prior to the extension. That way they have more time to talk about it. And I think they knew they had a lot of things to talk about. So I'm hoping that what we see is a new agreement and that the 26-27 season will actually see all the change. Well, like maybe they can make those changes sooner, but at least by then, make the changes we've talked about. Yeah. Changes with playoffs, changes with, you know, everything else. Well, yeah, because but I don't think that this, I mean, I could be wrong. I guess, again, I don't know the actual hard numbers, but the whole, you know, LTIR and that whole business... Yeah created both teams a well let's see i think tampa bay had an 18 million over cap and the um golden knights were 15 yeah That's a lot and, of money That's and here's money the thing paying for it's, players it's more so to. than you said because which teams did you just mention again yeah, teams with no tax is what you're saying. A, yeah. yeah, exactly, right? Yeah. So not only were they over, but they were over by way more than 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 what those numbers are suggesting because of the no tax situation. That means that that was millions of dollars even more than that. So they basically could have fielded a whole second team that <laughs> might have maybe made the playoffs. It's yeah. not fair. And I, I'm hoping that you now understand what I mean when I say it should change. No, I understand what they're saying. I just don't. You know. still don't agree? Uh, no, I'm not saying that. All right, all right. Here's the, we're going to have an argument here. I would have to investigate. <laughs> we don't have time like, for an argument. We've only got a couple of minutes. <laughs> other professional teams, or I should say, well, you have to investigate. Work, There's, yeah, you know, me you have personally, because I don't know. I don't have any idea how that works. In other I'll leagues, tell you what. So. I'll tell you what. You know what? Let's make this interesting. Maybe we could actually consider doing a shortened podcast show sometime either over the weekend or early next week and actually devote 25 minutes or so specifically to just talking about what other leagues do in this situation. What is the best option for the NHL based on that? Yeah, what do you think? Can do some investigation I mean, that's yeah, 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 why not? But I mean, actually do a little podcast on it. Shortened one, not not a, not a, not, a, not an hour long, just, just a quick one that we can actually just get it out there and say, this is what we figured out. This is what we think you should do. And then get people to actually make some comments. Let us know what you think. Leave a comment in there. What do you think the solution is? And do you think that uh, taxable states and provinces uh, should get a fair chance? Or do you think it should just stay the way it is? And it's fair enough. And And you know what? If you say it's fair, please let us know if you're in Florida. <laughs> with that i think we have to get, say goodbye yes. and on that note <laughs> i am robert from nashville tennessee and, and i'm lionel from toronto ontario canada we'll catch you next episode ciao